Okay, peeps, here we go. We're going to take the bottom or attempt to take the bottom bracket off with this tool set and we'll see if I got everything I need. Let's go ahead and take this bitty apart. Okay, once both of these bolts and this is out, this comes right off. Just like that. Uh, some bikes you might need a, a puller, crank puller, but this particular one, um, they have it set up pretty nice where you don't need that. So I'm going to set this aside. Uh, I'm going to take these pedals off. The kit comes with new cranks for the B-Fang kit. Uh. Oh, hold on. Do we got it? Oh my god, okay, we got a tool. Glad I bought that. I'm sure this is not proper operating procedure, but uh, I don't really care at this point, I'll get this thing off. There we go. There we go. As Marty says on uh, Mountain Man, that'll do her. Uh, again, guys, I've never done this before. This is the first time I've ever taken anything like this apart. So, I did watch a YouTube video on taking the bottom bracket off, but uh, it wasn't for this bike. I mean, oops, they're all different. Every bike has like, there's like so many different kinds of bottom brackets. It was so confusing. I didn't know what, what tool to get or Okay. Nice. Let's make sure I don't lose any of this. Yeah, this is like dealing with car repair. With all these little seals and stuff. I'll just set it like that and put it all in a baggie. Because all this stuff is history. So I'm guessing now, if I use a bottom bracket tool on the other side, actually this might even slide out. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, let me take the chain off here, otherwise it's gonna be a real bitch. Oh, slicks, slides right out, I think. It feels loose enough like it should pop through. Maybe it, I think it's gonna be insistent that I take this. Same thing on that side, basically I have to do it on this side. I have no way to get the tool on there, even if I take the crank off. I'd have to take the crank off and take the chain. I'm going to go ahead and flip this around for you guys so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, pull out the big guns here. Uh, I'm guessing I don't have to worry about ruining the bearing or ruining the thing. Uh, I thought maybe I could get this off and it would slide some way I can get the tool in there or that this would somehow come out, but this is all pressed together. I'm just gonna go ahead and muscle it. All these mountain bike guys are cringy right now. What's he doing? Muscled it off. Uh, you know, it's pretty funny as it said tighten to the right, but it had an arrow pointing to the left. And I says, what if they actually mean tighten, or, you know, you're supposed to turn it the other way. Like, turn it to the right even though the arrow is pointing left, or whatever. So I reversed it, and guess what? That's what it was. I got the bottom bracket off. Uh, damaged the uh, cap just slightly. It's not that I warped it or anything. It's just a uh, eh, long story short. Anyway, I'm going to have to guess that the drive is on this side. So 
so it has to go in like this. Um, hold on. Do it without damaging anything. So it would be like this. I don't need to have that on there right this minute or I'll cut my hand off. Okay, let's see what they mean by spacers. Why you'd need a spacer. Okay, so you say that I pushed it through and it's just, just lining up there with about the center. Of the, and that's not tightened down, so it actually go back a couple more millimeters, but it's just about the center. So believe it or not, the offset of that's pretty good. Uh, I don't know <laughs> when I get my other chain ring if it's actually going to be offset enough. But uh, I'll just have to deal with it. I don't want to use this huge. This huge thing here is going to give me no torque at all. Okay, so what my understanding is now we put spacers on this side, on these threads, and then uh, lock it down. So that's what I'm gonna, gonna guess. There's no instructions with this kit. So really the only thing I can do is either try it and see if it works, or stop and go online and by the time I watch a video or two that sun's gone. So I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Anyway, this is where I'm gonna stop for now until I figure out what I'm doing, I'm not gonna record anymore. So that's it. Okay, I'm not gonna take this back off because it's a bit to get on. Um, you see these spacers here. The spacers you put between your bracket and the motor so that it doesn't, basically so that it doesn't rub and so that it lines up where you want it to line up. Now I want it to be as close as possible. So I use spacers to get me right up to, <laughs> to where it's basically touching. And they give you a whole bunch of hardware. Like these two here, those two are for the, the crank. And these two hold on your, right here. Screw on right there. And I have a spacer left, which I'm not gonna need for anything. And then they give you all these other spacers. Like these, these ones here are uh, for this. So this bracket needs to go on. You see on one side there's divots that stick out. You can probably see that. Uh, the parts, the, the, the divots that stick out need to go up against your bottom bracket. So it goes in like that, up like that. So it goes like this. Lock, washer, and it goes bolt, lock, washer, and then the spacer. And then you just put this Basically, I'm trying not to get the sun glare, the setting sun in here. No, that's not really heavy torque. That's just basically to make sure everything is lined up. As you see, there's not supposed to be a gap there. My guess is that uh, those spacers on the other side kind of threw this side off a little bit. Oh yeah. Okay, I think we got it. That looks straight. And that looks pretty good. So, when I tighten this down, it's actually gonna pull it really tight. That should do the job. We'll do it live. Yes. Yeah, I can't really Good. 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 Why mess around? That should be it.
Then it's just, uh, these are labeled left and right. So this is the left side of the bike. Let's see. That sucker's on there now. I know you then he is these bolts. Oh, it's not that close, it's alright. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna I just banged it over the hammer real quick. We're done for the day. But the kit's done. I mean the motor install's done. All I need to do is put the bolts on and crank those down. And then put the pedals back on. Oh yeah, I guess it does help to put the chain guard on first before I put the pedal on. That'd be nice. Or the chain ring. Put the chain ring on. Line up the holes. Oh, that's what the five screws are for. Oh, okay. I was trying to figure out what the there was five little screws. I'm like, what is what are these five screws for? Yes, yeah, so you just just line it up just like that. Then you put the pedal crank on afterwards. What about that one? It's on the other side. You know what I'm talking about. And then just put the bolt through. To hold that on. So I'm gonna put the five bolts in here and then put that through. And then you're good. You're good. Basically, the rest of this is just it's just getting the wiring ran. It's getting the battery on here. And uh, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the install. Until next time. you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box.